2012. It's run by a husband and wife team, Mandy and Joe Russell, up in Gawler. Um, they're a, a family-owned company that loves providing opportunities for the youth to engage and become excited about the performing arts, and musicals is their specialty. Um, so Chitty Chitty Bang Bang is our next one, and we're so excited. Yeah, I think often it is the case, I mean, uh, uh, theatre and performing uh, generally is such a good way to um, engage, engage young people in the arts, um, and I think musicals especially because they tend to be there are obvious obvious exceptions of course but um they tend to be family friendly and also their their large casts tend to tend to allow a lot of people to um to get involved um so what is it why was chitty chitty bang bang included um as part of the season this year well it's a classic for a start <laughs> it provides a lot of children with a lot of different roles that they can do so we might not normally have because there's a great dance component to Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Um, there's great acting opportunities for kids as well. So it was just more of a production that enabled more children to get involved yeah. um, and have a chance to perform. Yeah, right. And it just gives, gives these kids the chance to come out of their shell, to try something new, to put all their you know inhibitions aside and just have fun. It's fabulous. And what kind of what kind of um, ages um, are the performers in this production? So we've got them ranging from about eight to sixteen. Mm -hmm. I think our eldest is just about ten, seventeen in year twelve. So yeah, there's lots of age groups, and they that's the other beauty of you know a youth production is these children get to um, mix with different age groups themselves as well, and they're so supportive of each other and give each other such a great. Um, boost, you know, never a dull moment. Yeah, no, of course. And so, Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, as you said, is is a classic. And there are some, you know, I, I remember from from um, from the film, of course, with Dick Van Dyke, and just the there are some great dramatic moments as well with the with the child the child catcher, especially. I remember just. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but in terms, we have a fabulous child catcher this time around. <laughs> oh, excellent, excellent. And so, in terms of, like production wise, there's a lot of. Um, a lot of room to move and a lot of um, a lot of um, potentially exciting design elements. What are what are what are some features that audiences can look forward to in terms of the production um, the production side of things? Yes, so we have um, the famous Chitty Car, obviously, um, which we have been lucky enough to be um, used from Lincoln Productions, who have made the car. Um, so we get to use Chitty, and she flies, and she does all the wonderful things that she does in the movie. Um, we've had some great production behind the scenes teams who built a toot sweet machine and the famous breakfast machine. Mm -hmm. There's some really, you know, exciting props to be seen as well as obviously the children. Yeah, no, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And so, um, uh, the performances uh, kick off next um, next Thursday, um, Thursday eleven a.m., Friday seven p.m., and then Saturday two performances one p.m. and seven p.m. Um, That's correct. In a, in, a, in a good place now. It's the weekend before before the show. How is um, how's everyone feeling? Rehearsal is going great. The kids uh, will get the chance this weekend to perform with some of the props. So to do a run through with the props. So they're very very excited. Um, it's looking really good. It's very polished. This, this production team and these bunch of children have done a fabulous job. They are really dedicated and, yeah, we couldn't ask for more. We're, re we're really excited. We are, it, the show's going to be fabulous. I can't probably say that enough, but it, it is a really good show. Oh, great. And we should mention as well that it is directed, um, you mentioned Mandy and Joe Russell, head of the head of the um, company, so Joe Russell will be um, will be directing uh, directing this one as well. Um, so where can people yes. where can people go if they've heard and they're interested? Where can, where can they go to, to, to get tickets? Um, they can go to the Bronx Arts and Convention Centre's website and purchase tickets from there. Uh, tickets are $32 and they can be bought a really good good price structure too so yeah yeah and and of course if people are interested in now productions and 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 what else that you've got um uh lined up for for the rest of the year um i think you've got a website is that right we have a website you can hit us up on facebook 
or Instagram as well if for, you know, those who are a bit younger than I am <laughs> um, and who are into all of that. Um, yeah, send us a message, get in touch on Facebook. We would love to hear from some performers um, and share some of the joy and the fun that we have doing these things. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, Charmaine, thanks so much for your for your time this morning. It sounds like a sounds like a wonderful production and a great way to um, engage the kids. And it would be a lot of fun, not only for for the performers but for um, audience members as well. And it sounds like that's one of the one of the key ele- elements of um, the ethos behind our production. So it's um it's great to hear of a local company um, engaging engaging with audiences and performers in such a way. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. No, no worries at all. So that is Now Productions. They're presenting Chitty Chitty Bang Bang down at the Barossa Arts and Convention Centre next Thursday, Friday and Saturday. So you can head to Now Productions' website, check them out on Facebook and also the website for the Barossa Arts and Convention Centre to secure your tickets. Sounds like a lot of fun. You're listening to Arts Breakfast. Let's have a listen now to Prince with When Doves Cry.